You know, I thought Fridays were supposed to be our challenge days. Uh, well, they are. We haven't done one in a really long time. I know, though. but that's why we've got Chapo here. Oh, yes. I thought he was just hanging out. Well, that too. Oh, today on the show. Good morning, Scallywax. Hey. Yeah. It's Friday! The another week with us! Yes. And we're going to play another round of one of our favorite challenges from the past that we like to call the uh, the movie title the challenge. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. We're still working on it. It's it's a work in progress. I, I just like movie title challenge. It's, movie it's title short, challenge. it's to the point, it and says what it is. And C. And that is, yeah. of course, the, uh, the game where uh, Chapo has made a list for us yep. where he is going to give us four movie titles. Now, this, uh, this time around, we're doing all sci-fi movies. Yeah. Which, a lot harder than you think. <laughs> and three of the titles that he gives us are real movies. No, one no? is real. Oh, one is real. Oh, wow. One, okay. is, real. one, is, one real. is real. So we're changing it from usual. Usually it's three real, one fake. Uh, so he's giving us three fake movies and one real one. We then have to guess which one is the real one. Yes. That's, that's throwing us for a... I don't know how to handle oh. change! Yeah. So this could get interesting. All right, so you ready? Who's going to go first? Yep. One, One two, two, three, three shoot. shoot. Have at it. going first. All right. Now, again, I'm going to throw my usual disclaimers here. I had come up with a lot of movie titles. <laughs> there were some of these that I was like, that sounds like a great title. And I would look it up on IMDb. No, that movie exists. That <laughs> There's a movie <laughs> with that title. So I would have to come up with a new so title. So hang on to this list for, for the <laughs> yeah. in-between seasons yeah, yeah, so yeah. we can do some trailer riffs. That's, yeah. that's where we get our trailer riffs from. <laughs> yeah. from the last time around, we went to all the uh, the movie titles and, and looked up all the ones that were real and, and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's like, uh, and then just having to come up with so many and... Uh, oh, you only had to make up 30 titles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Only 30. It's not like I not had to, like, you know, script them or anything. I mean, I could do yeah. that in a couple afternoons. Yeah. Or, oh, wait, that sounds like more work than I... Okay, never yeah. <laughs> All right, let's so, do this. Then, and also, uh, since, all, since I know these two are big sci-fi buffs, trying to find obscure sci-fi movies that I'm like, I'm reasonably sure they have not seen this. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> Mystery yeah. Science Theater. Right? <laughs> yeah, so... We're going to see how this turns out. Here All we go. right, so here we go. First one here, first group of four. One real, three fake. Captain Arizona. <laughs> Sunshine. Dawn of Winter. Or Escape from Galaxy 9. I know this one. I, th I really think it's Escape from Galaxy 9. You, you think that's the real one? I think that's the real one. No! Yeah. no! Sunshine. sunshine! I like yes. that. Movie. I was like, 2007. Yes, that was a good movie. <laughs> All right. Oh, ho, ho. bing, bing. Okay. Yes. Here are your four. Okay. One real, three fake. Okay. They call me Omega. Uh. The world ends at dawn. Uh huh. The Man from Earth, uh -huh. Agents of Havoc. Okay, well, there was there was one that, that was in there that I thought was the real one until you said one that I'm almost positive was, and that was The Man from Earth. Yes, 2007. They call me Mr. Omega. Mr. Tubbs. Well, actually, it was, was I. Uh, that what was the that second one, one. The second one you read was the uh, world ends at dawn. No, see, I thought that one was real until you read the man from Earth. Yeah, uh, they call me Omega was a take on uh, they call me Trinity and they still call me Trinity, hmm. which Terrence Hill, great western. And they call me Mr. Tibbs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Colossal. They call him Flipper. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Colossal, Captain Quanta and the Omega Chronicles. There's a 50s comic book yeah. for you. Right. <laughs> Fire Runners or Call of Jupiter. It's Colossal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good movie. It's a great movie. Colossal. Hilarious movie. Hilarious for a kaiju movie. Yeah. 
All right. It's one and one. One and one. All right. Titan Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Snowpiercer. Mm -hmm. Space Probe Saturn. Mm -hmm. Or Phantom Island. That would be Snowpiercer. I got your Space Probe. (laughs) 2013. Not very well known, but... Decent movie. A good movie. Based off a comic book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And a very depressing ending. (laughs) Yes. They're like, oh, they made it off, and they're surviving in the wild. No, that polar bear saw you. You're dead. Oh, nom, hi. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Enjoy being lunch. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Okay. <coughs> that's, that's another thing we need to do again, where we talk about the happy endings that weren't. Yeah. We, we need to do another round of that sometime. All right. E. Omegaville. The Host. Memories of Zareth. Now here's another 50s comic. Yeah. yeah. And Space Pirate Horeth, Battle of Saturn. I've known every one of these so far. Yeah, the host. Yeah. It's, yep. a crazy, it's a very good movie. Flick. It's a good movie. It's a crazy yep. flick. 2006. He, know, he knows his kaiju movies. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, sci fi movie movies that, that one, it, it, one or both of us haven't seen. seen yeah. Difficult. And, I, and on some of these, I reached all the way back to the 50s to we find can, some of we these. We can tell from the fake ones right. so far. It's yeah. Like, it's like, ooh, that would make a good comic book. <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go. Requiem of Mars. Okay. Solace of Fire. Uh-huh. The Harbinger. Uh-huh. And Space Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. It would be the last one there. The uh, Space Hunter Forbidden, Forbidden Zone. Yep, that one. That's that's an old one. That's yeah, that's like eighties. I forgot to write the date like down 70s. on that. That was like late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, oh, right that... in the Phantom Zone. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, Molly Ringwald yep. and uh, Michael Ironside. Right in the Forbidden Zone. Yep. Three two. Three two. All right. Star Fury. Millennium. Spaceport. <laughs> Quantum Matrix. Or the Atomic Ghost. Ooh. I don't I think it's the Atomic too. Ghost, but Atomic Ghost just it's it's got that 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 World War Two vibe to it, right after World War Two when everything was atomic. Yeah. Um what was the number what was number two again? Uh Millennium. I wanna say it's that one. But I don't think so. I wanna say it's that one though. Well say which one it is. Because uh, I know. I know it's not. It's not. It's an atomic ghost. No, I, it's not Millennium either. What? The, it's at C. What was C? Quantum Matrix. Yes. No. <laughs> Damn. It was Millennium. <laughs> oh God! I that, know it wasn't Millennium. Uh, that was from 1989. Was, that was the movie that people were coming back from the future yes. to pull people oh, off no, of I aircraft. Oh no! Pulling people off of aircraft right oh, before the aircraft would crash because they had now, to repopulate the Earth in the there future. There was a serial from back in like the 30s or 40s or whatever that was something very very similar to Atomic Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I'm thinking of the comic book character. Comic, anyway. com- There's a comic book character called Tom yeah. Ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there wasn't a movie. There wasn't a movie. Not a movie. Ah, I want, I so, <laughs> I, 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 still, I still, you know. Should have went with my gut with Millennium. All right. Well, we know who's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who? Slipstream. Okay. Dragons of Saturn. Mm-hmm. The Turing Test. Mm-hmm. Or The Enigma. <laughs> First one I'm not positive on. Uh, so because I'm not positive, I'm going to have to go, of course, with the Enigma. That is your final answer. I, read them again. Read them again. Slipstream. Okay. Dragons of Sat- Saturn. Okay. The Turing Test and the Enigma. Although Slipstream does kind of sound familiar. <sighs> Now I'm torn. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go with Slipstream. Okay, well, it's a good thing you did, because, yes, that is okay. the real one. In fact, <laughs> I say, I knew that one familiar. was an extremely obscure one, 
because it was a uh, it was a sci-fi movie starring an actor who hadn't had a whole lot of experience in sci-fi films at the time. Only had done, I think, like at the time, I think two. Uh, a actor by the name of Mark Hamill. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's why it sounded familiar. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, number nine. Didn't they? They may have done that on MSC three K. Now I think about it. I think they did. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's why this or one riff was tracks, so hard. One MST3K and Rift Track. Yeah, like, I really think it was a... Either <laughs> I think it was a Rift Track. I think it was movie. a Rift yeah. Track one. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Or I may have just seen it and ripped it, hacked it myself. I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. Alan Quartermain and the Throne of Atlantis. Maidens of Orion. The Stellar Conspiracy. Or Silent Running. Not to be confused with Cool Running. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or Running in the Night. Um, um, I, I don't think it's Alan with the Alan Quartermain. That sounds more like a, a TV serial from the. <laughs> I know it's. I know it's not uh, uh, Silent Running. <clears throat> but I want to. Th- oh wow. I love how you keep saying, I know it's not. I know but it's you don't not, know which but one I don't is. know which one it is. But, uh, <laughs> it's like, I know it's not this, but... I know that for a fact this one doesn't exist, really but I don't good. know which one does. Some of these are really just like... <laughs> Chapo just moved a word, and it's just like, I know that move. Oh, wait, nope, 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 he changed the word there. Um, I, it, I, It's Alan Quartman. You're going to say that's the real one? Yep. No, I made that one up. Alan Quartman was from uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, yeah, but he the was uh, the on. real real movie was uh, Silent Running, yeah. nineteen seventy two. That's the one I thought. Uh, it was. As, uh, uh, Bruce Dern, I think, was in it. Yeah. Uh, the plot of the movie was uh, is Bruce Dern. I'm pretty sure that's the guy's name. Was a botanist, and he was in charge of these three space stations. Or these three stellar greenhouses that had the last of the Earth's vegetation on it. And then the orders came down from NASA that it's like, yeah, we have our own CO2 scrubbers and so we don't need plants anymore. So, yeah, just go ahead and blow them up. Mm. And he basically then kills the rest of the crew and sails off. Saves the plants. And sails off into space, flipping Earth the double bird as he sails away. Maybe All right, we now the last one. out at the back door there if you hear the whimpering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, this one... Like that. Is, ...is going to be especially fun. Oh, boy. Because, uh, now, all four of these titles have something in common. Okay. All four of these titles were the name of a pop song from the 80s. <laughs> okay. But only one, one of these... One of them was a movie. One, one of them, them was a movie. Like the other. Well, come on, winner. Pick okay. it up. Okay. And the titles. Tainted Love. <laughs> time After Time. Blister in the Sun. Or Abracadabra. Okay, so we got Tainted Love. Tainted Love. What was the second one? Time After Time. <coughs> Blister in the Sun. Blister in the Sun. I'm going to go with... Time After Time. You are correct. Bar! H.G. Uh, Wells travels forward in time in the time machine that he built... To stop Jack the Ripper. <laughs> that was a guess. That was yeah. a guess. It sounded the most familiar. Yep. Well, there we go. So, so, another round. Another round. Yeah. Got some uh, challenge ideas for us, or would you like to see more of this challenge? Put it in the comments below. Yep. Continue to like us across all of our social media platforms, the Facebook, the Instagram, and the Twitter. Yeah. Make sure you guys continue to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Did you notice what we're wearing? Yeah, the, the classic white. The, the official Friday shirt of the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
No, you can get these in any color. That's both the shirt and the text. Mm -hmm. Short sleeves like uh, Shpoo and I are wearing. If you'd like the classic white, are only $20. Long sleeves are $22. And the hoodies, which you know fall is coming up pretty quick. Those are just $25. Yeah, you can get those uh, going right here. Boom. That's our Facebook Boom. page. Just uh, shoot us a private message there on our Facebook letting us know what size you need, what colors you would like, and uh, we will uh, you know, get that, get that process started for you. So another week in the bag, another apocalypse survived, and another Comic-Con in the books. Well, I mean, theoretically, we survived the apocalypse. It's technically not until tomorrow, so if this never airs, you know we're dead. Yeah. But wait, and then again, wait. you are too, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, and then I did all this work for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. See you next week! Hi, I am the one through Ben. This is a magazine. This is not only clip, is a Russian clip. And this is a Russian clip of day. Two, three, four, a cross clock. Five, six, seven, a clock clock. Two, three, eleven, a four clock. He gonna rock, rock, rock. Two, now we gonna rock, 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 Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you liked what you see, go ahead and click on our faces to go ahead and subscribe to get all of our Monday through Friday stuff. Indeed, and here's a couple of links down below that you can follow to watch more shows like it. Tons of great content right here at Scallywag Productions. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>